What's up, guys? Welcome back to a new video. So Halloween is tomorrow, but we're gonna dress up today. We'll show you guys what I'm gonna be in a second. You guys like the hair? <laughs> I need a draw on my chest. He has an X on his chest. So. You show them the <laughs> reference, dude. This is what I was going for. <laughs> Right there. You saw uh, one piece. What do you guys think? Not bad, not bad, <laughs> not bad. I, it is I. <laughs> Wanna know Damn, Zorro? Bro, you do look like Zorro. Do you like the earrings? Yeah. I got all three swords. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me let me do this pose for you a little bit. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey Boo, I need your help. I need you to draw an X on my chest. I got you. Watch you go. Watch oh you go. yeah, just I, I need this. Which one? On my chest. Do we draw it or what? Yeah, just marker me up. It's pretty good. Aid <laughs> is not firm, but lightly until you strike. Run it on the Zoro. What do you guys think? Yeah. I'm Monkey D. Luffy, <laughs> <laughs> the Pirate King. Damn, man, you look fucking hella good. I'm a I'm a pirate hunter. <laughs> so, Mihawk, I'm ready for you again. I'm gonna use my homegirl sword. Okay. <laughs> Don't you be breaking my swords again. I have to order everything piece by piece. <laughs> I think we all did. You're telling me, bro. I have <laughs> three fucking swords. <laughs> <laughs> I looked online and I was like, what? You gotta buy three of these? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be tattooing with the machines that I have. To yeah, I like your hair, how it popped up. <laughs> you know, in the, the, sh the movie, how, I mean, the, the show, how he couldn't sit down with his swords? I feel that, bro. Because I was trying to sit down at home and I was just like, God. Walking up and down the stairs. Oh, fuck. Hitting shit. Yeah. Hitting everybody. Man, if Ray was gonna come in, we could have done that um that picture of all of us with our boots on top of something, you know? What was Ray supposed to be? The the chef. Oh. I'm supposed to be uh Luffy from One Piece. Not bad, not bad. Looking good. It looks legit. <laughs> Monkey D. Luffy. That's me. Sound like him, yeah! <laughs> So today's design, we have a dragon full sleeve with traditional background and cherry blossoms and inside here we're gonna have a oni mask, which we might do tomorrow. If not, I'm planning to shade, outline and shade everything on the outside and we'll focus on the inside next session. So, so you'll finish shading all this today? Uh, nah. Today and tomorrow? Yeah. Cherry blossom? Cherry Blossom. I haven't done these background in uh, quite some time. Which is cool, this, this background is very easy. I can get it done hella fast. It looks like a mess, but trust me, I, I see everything. Come over here. Can you guys guess what I'm drawing right now? Yes, you guessed it right, it's Cherry Blossoms. That's my focus for today. We're gonna outline everything. Then after that, I'm gonna add the scales in. Then uh, we're gonna jump on the boat. We're gonna go find the one piece. Yeah. What do you like? What do you 
you like? Tell me what you like. We're trying to know each other right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, new session. Lang is from Minnesota. Yep, Minnesota. Minnesota. And we're here for a two-day session, so working on the outline, and tomorrow we'll be shading all day. And you'll be back next week? Yep. Next. Flying back next week yep. to next finish up. Monday and Tuesday. How did you find me? Uh, Instagram. So I've been wanting like a traditional like, Japanese tattoo for a while. And there's people that do it in Minnesota, but I just didn't really like their style. So I was like, you know what, let me just start looking out, out of state. And uh, I was looking at like, like down in like Texas and Florida too. There were some good people, some good styles, but I was like, uh, let me just keep looking. And I was like, you know, let me try Instagram. It's pretty big. I just typed in like Japanese style tattoos and then, yeah, like you guys popped up. And then, I think I was following you for a while before I even decided to come to you. Before I was Luffy or after I was? <laughs> I'm ready. Some Popeyes. Oh, it's kind of dark. Jolly B. Oh, <laughs> I keep saying Popeyes. Today for lunch, we got Popeyes. Wait. Jolly <laughs> Bee. I keep saying. I keep saying Popeyes. And when we're eating Jollibee the whole time. I'm terrible. This one time, I was like talking shit to Vu and then he slapped me across my face and gave me this scar. <laughs> He's really aggressive. Look at him. <laughs> He's a swordsman, man. <laughs> Don't mess with a swordsman because they'll slice you. Slice and dice, baby. It's I, Roberto Rosoro. What's up, y'all? I'm Yusup from One Piece. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm gonna be Nami today. This is my pole. Yes. <laughs> Whoa! And I'm Monkey D. Luffy. Maybe like this, huh? Yeah. 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 I stand like this. Okay. Right. One, two. <clears throat> yeah, look at us. <laughs> so Lang just had his first experience with Jolly Bees. <laughs> yeah? Yep. It's good? Yep. Today's kind of fun though. Mm -hmm. uh, Seeing us dress up. You guys are all into fishing, huh? Uh, yeah. I, I caught my first fish and that's what started. Recently? Or? Nah, when I was probably like seven oh, years seven. old. One thing about fishing is like the more you fish, the more you understand about their nature. Yeah. yeah. And that Definitely. timing that you fish, that you caught all that really matters again for the year after. Yeah. Because fish is like hunting, everything's seasonal. Yeah. Story time with Vu. Oh, hey, I didn't see you guys there. Looks like it's another. Uh, it's time for another story. So today we're going to be talking about the story of the koi. There's many different versions of the story of the koi because it's such a popular story. But this is the story that I know, that I love, and the one that I tell my children. So everybody knows the koi as this luck symbol of luck. A uh, symbol of um, you know uh, persistence and um, you know a lot of that other stuff. But the backstory of it goes: there's a river that flows and it's going upstream, and there's a group of koi that are trying to get to their motherland, right? They're, they're trying to get to their spawn point. Um, and as they're swimming upstream, they come against a, a waterfall, and the waterfall is very high. So these koi start to swim up and try to jump but they can't make it across the waterfall. And there were a couple of demons hanging out in the forest and they had noticed that there's a bunch of koi trying to jump over this waterfall. So they go over and they start investigating. They notice that they aren't able to make it across and being these, uh, you know, uh, playful demons, they decided to build the waterfall taller so that, you know, the, the koi would never be able to make it. They found joy out of this. And so what they were doing was they, every time they, they come back, they would just build stacks of rocks higher and higher. And so the koi would be swimming and they would try to get above this waterfall, but it kept getting higher and higher and none of them were able, able to make it over. Uh, legend has it that after a thousand years, um, one koi made it across this waterfall. And the gods had seen this, the gods have been watching their journey. And so he decides to, uh, you know, bless the koi with becoming a dragon. So he becomes the first ever dragon and it's the golden dragon. 
Uh, so if you guys ever see the Golden Dragon, that it represents the first koi that made it through the obstacle. When you see it in a lot of um, art, you'll notice that you'll see koi swimming upstream, and you'll also notice the koi going downward. Just like in life, you need to be both koi's. You need to know when to push for your goals, but you also need to know when to go with the flow. You need to hang out, relax, you know, find out when it's your time to kind of make that leap and go for it. And I think that's why, like, I love the story of the koi fish so much. And that's the story of the koi. It's crazy that <clears throat> people knew more koi fish than marijuana. So, like, I know some people, like, they're, like, just gifted with, like, drawing and stuff, and that's, that's how they get into it. But, like, for you, like, how, how did, like, were you, like, gifted with drawing, too, or you had to, like, learn? Or? I felt like I was artistic. It's a skill that you have, but for that skill to come true, you have to sharpen it, yeah. right? Practice. Yeah. So it, it was tough. I'm not going to lie, dude. That shit. Tattooing is the drawing part and learning the art is the toughest part. Because once you create the art, dude, all you got to do is follow the line. Yeah. But yeah. to become anything, the journey in the beginning is the hardest part. But it what matures you to become who you are after, right? Yeah. And some don't make it because that's not their journey. Today is day two. Let's see how far we can get. Day two with my boo. My name is Boo. I'm here for you. Hey, was my singing too good? Would you get copyright for that? Because. <laughs> Does it hurt more today? A little, a little bit more. So we all plan to have a One Piece Halloween theme, and guess who didn't? Who decided to show up? Look, look at him! He's right there. He didn't want to. He didn't want to play the game, so he didn't I show up. Was the Invisible Man. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I told him that he ruined my Halloween. I never dress up to him. Well, you know what happens next year? I'm gonna be myself. I'm no, not gonna dress man. Up. Don't let them ruin your Halloween. <laughs> Matt ruined my Halloween. I mean, I got Jolly Bean for everybody though. It's in the fridge. <laughs> if you want some chicken. <laughs> All right, Matt. What was your excuse? So, what happened was I actually uh, was involved in an armed robbery and I was apprehended. Actually, Ray sent me a message pretty early yesterday morning and he was just like, I'm really not happy with my character choice, so I think we should boycott the um, the One Piece uh, like Halloween party. I, I shaved my mustache that I've been growing for 36 years. Um, I've only shaved my mustache once in my entire life and that was because I lost the bet. The other uh, bet I lost was the bet on Matt being here. That was, I lost that one pretty bad. But this is my face now. I look like a 10 year old child. Matt got me coming here in shorts, no shirt on, belly button showing the whole time. It's cold it as hell. Yeah. The wind kept blowing at my belly button. I was like, damn. <laughs> I still can't believe nobody came with their costumes yesterday. Disappointment. I'm still mad at Matt for not dressing up or showing up to work yesterday. We planned this out for months. So mad. I'm so mad at him right today. I'm, I didn't even want to talk. That's why you, don't, you guys don't see me talk today because I'm mad at Matt. What do you got to say to the world? Ligma. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to press record this whole time, so missed the whole section.
Set this place on fire Cause I'm tired of your lies All I needed was a simple me heart <laughs> But your lies they got so noisy That I could not hear me cry We are done with the session It's been two days Let me show you guys what two days look like. You guys enjoy the vlog. See you guys on the next one. Late.